All right, hello YouTube. So a few weekends ago, um, I hooked some diodes up to my pilot light here so it would work again. The way Thomas pilot lights worked, um, let me just pull these screws real quick. All right, so we'll open this guy up. And if you look here, back of our pilot light, which is these guys right here, notice I have these diodes here. Reason being, uh, so the bottom wires go to ground, which actually ground to the light monitor. Uh, so the way this worked with the incandescent lights is both positives came to the pilot light and the light that wasn't on was what it grounded through. With the LEDs, that's a problem because that makes your LEDs that are not lit up uh, come on very dim and that's bad for the drivers for them. Uh, that's how you burn out LEDs, the drivers that bring the 12 volts down to whatever the LEDs run on. So, we got his bus right here, and we're going to uh, go in and solder some diodes in, so more to come. Alright, let's pull this guy off real quick. Oh, let's see here. Okay, here's our pilot, our two pilot light wires right here. Okay, so this is our pilot light in the newer Thomas, but it's the same concept. You've got your two positives right here for this side, and then your other two right here. So we're going to combine these, the two reds and the two ambers with diodes. And then we're going to ground these two pins out right here. So I'll fire the camera up here as soon as my soldering iron gets hot. Is it recording? Mm -hmm. Alright. So let's do this. We're going to go ahead and solder this. Oh yeah. These diodes you have to solder to them. Otherwise... Otherwise, it won't really work very well. Okay, we got one side soldered. Dang, we got both sides soldered. So if you notice, I've got the ring that's printed on the diode right here. So electricity will flow this way, but the ring is like a do not enter sign. It won't go back the other way. And so the idea here is we're going to take this red wire and do the exact same thing, and we're going to combine these two ends onto the pilot light okay let's see here so the other thing I'm doing in my soldering I do apologize this probably isn't the prettiest of soldering jobs but we're not going for pretty we're just going for functionality because it's going to be covered up we got a piece of heat shrink right here so let's see here Ooh, that's hot 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 Go. Get this all soldered up real quick. That looks decent. Let's see here. Got our iron right there. I oh, missed a spot right there. Ooh, that's hot. some on the tip. Let that cool down and that should be good. Then what we're going to do, get the wire over here, slide our heat shrink up. And it's going to cover all this up here in a second, and then we'll heat shrink it down so that it doesn't, uh, so that this can't uh, touch anything. It'll help hold it together as well. So, more to come.
All right, so top one here is our red. As you can see, I got the white stripes coming from the individual wires to the main plug, so these two won't be able to cross talk with each other. So we're gonna put them in the top. Then we're gonna put our amber in the bottom. Now, these other two right here, we're gonna run ground wires into here, and that's gonna solve our problem with our LEDs. Uh, more to come in a second. All right, so we've got our ground wire right here, and luckily this bus has the old has a hookup for the two or three position normal Thomas door switch, even though it uses this guy right here. This is a ground wire right here, so when we flip our flip our warning lights on, our uh, they come on like they should now. So that is how you do it right there. Two diodes to connect the wires. You put your little white bar where the wires are coming together, and that's that. And then ground the other side of the pilot light. Don't know why Thomas did it this way, but they had to do it that way back in the day. But that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys.